The elastic strap is a truly innovative feature of the Strapa wallet. It expands and contracts according to your storage needs, providing you with plenty of room for cards, cash, keys, and anything else you need to keep with you. We've all been there. You're at the register and you can't find your card. The Strapa Wallet's easy access card slot allows you to get to your preferred card with ease. Never dig through your wallet again. Data theft affects millions of people every year and it's only getting worse. Thieves can get your credit card information using Radio Frequency Identification, or RFID. The Strapa Wallet is designed with RFID blocking technology that keeps your personal information safe. If it's not evident by now, the Strapa Wallet is a truly exceptional and well-designed product. From each of the card slots to the debossed Strapo logo, you can really tell that Q-Link Designs is committed to quality. The Strapo Wallet is a unique and original minimalist wallet that's perfect for both men and women. I can't recommend it highly enough. Head over to strapodesign.com to get one for yourself.
My name is Charlie Carroll, CEO and co-founder of Dango Products. I'm really excited to share our Dango wallets with you and show you what they're all about. Okay, so here are our Dango wallets. We have two different types of wallets that I want to go over. One is the Dapper line and we have the Tactical line of Dango wallets. With the Dapper wallet, we have two different color variations. One is a whiskey brown leather with a clear anodized aluminum frame. We have a jet black leather with a clear anodized aluminum frame. That's the Dapper line. For the Tactical, we have a raw uh, untreated brown leather that's on a raw CNC aluminum frame. And then we have the jet black leather with a jet black anodized aluminum frame for the Tactical wallet. Those are the two color options for the Dango Tactical wallet. And now I'll go over the differences of both wallets. So with the Dapper wallet, we designed it to be very sleek. And as you can see in the bezel right here, it's just a smooth edge. Whereas on the Tactical wallets, we designed it to have a serrated grip on the edge of the wallet frame. And the main difference with the Tactical line of wallets we have is we include our Dango multi-tool. It's a the Dango multi-tool is a heat-treated carbon reinforced stainless steel multi-tool that we custom designed to work with the wallet. And I want to go over actually how it works with the wallet. So as you can see, the multi-tool rests in the back cavity of the wallet. And the way we designed it, we have these tabs that are CNC'd into the wallet frame that act as a safety. So if you see right here, I'm pulling on the tab the safety tab that we have which is a, actually a handle that we designed into the multi-tool and it doesn't move if you were to pull it up because of those safeties um, but when you pull the safe the safety back and uh, the multi-tool slides up you can see the wings that we designed on the multi-tool engage into the cavity so when you want to use the knife or the saw you can with the multi-tool still inside the wallet and that's the first engagement point. And then if you were to raise it again and lock the multi-tool into the second engagement point, you can still use the knife and the saw, but this time you get to use the leverage of the wallet and it's very, very um, sturdy since it locks into those safeties. Um, and as you can see, again, it doesn't move, just sits in there nice and safe. Um, you use the grip to hold it in place and when you're done using it you pull it again by the handle and just slide it right back down in there and as you can see it just nests very nicely inside of the wallet okay so those are the two differences in the wallet and now I want to show you how the dangle wallet acts as a wallet itself so I'll do that and demonstrate on our whiskey brown dapper uh, wallet the wallet itself is constructed with a two pieces of felt lined leather that we attach to the frame with military spec bolts. Um, as you can see, there's two pouches and then in the back, the same uh, cavity that we use to store the multi-tool, you can also use it to store cards. And the silicone band uh, acts um, to hold that, that sandwiched aluminum piece in and also to provide um, tension on the cards to hold them in place. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you how I typically use my Dango wallet. Um, so <clears throat> the silicone band, not only does it act as holding the back plate in, but it also can hold some cash in place. Doing that here and then typically I use three credit cards and I'll do that right here. So here's three cards. Slide those right into place. And then I typically use something like maybe one card in the front, maybe an ID. So as you can see, the profile is very, very slim. But even though the Dango wallet can be very slim like this, if you're a light user like myself, there are some power users out there that really hold, need to hold a lot of cards and we designed the wallet for that as well. So the back cavity can hold update card, so I'll go ahead and put that in here. Show you how that's done. So, 
pretty thick. And then I'm going to go ahead and put two more cards in the front. So now we have 12 cards in total and some cash in the back. And that's a fully loaded wallet. And the Dangle wallet takes it in stride. So there you have it. That's how the Dangle wallet works as a wallet itself. And I want to sh go over another detail that people are have some concerns about, and that's the actual weight of the wallet. So I'll go ahead and remove the multi-tool from one of our tactical wallets. Show you right here. In comparison, I'll use a let's see an iPhone 6s. So very lightweight phone weighs about 4.85 ounces. The Dango wallet without the multi-tool, let's see, I'll zero that out again, weighs about 2.25, 2.3 ounces. So half of what an iPhone 6S weighs. And the multi-tool itself weighs just 0.9 ounces. About a fifth of what an iPhone uh, 6S weighs. So that's one concern that people are bringing up. And then another is how sharp the multi-tool is. So I can go ahead and show you, it's, it's very sharp, but not so sharp where it's gonna cut your finger. I mean, I'm putting a pretty decent amount of pressure on my thumb and it's not cutting it. Same with the saw. I mean, it's serrated, but it's not gonna cut my thumb. But if you really need to, you can put pressure on it and use it as needed, but it's a very strong multi-tool, very sharp, but not so sharp where it's gonna hurt you or, or damage your fingers unless you put extreme amounts of pressure or it catches you in the right way, but it's really not that sharp. So I wanna go and line up the wallets again. Go ahead and load this multi-tool in and show you again how that is done. So as you can see, just kind of put it in there, pull it by the handle, goes right in there and that's the raw hide with raw aluminum frame tactical wallet, the black on black tactical wallet, and then we have the black um, and clear anodized aluminum dapper wallet and a fully loaded whiskey brown leather dapper wallet. And thank you very much. We really appreciate your time taking the taking your time to learn more about the Dango wallets and we hope that you enjoy our project and back us. Thank you.